正在收看的是《新闻三十分》。我们再来给大家说一下刚才我们说的最新消息。A Chinese news news agency suggesting that、uh, there could be a breakthrough in this、uh, long-running and distressing investigation into the disappearance of the Malaysia jet. That news report saying that a Chinese plane that left the Pierce Air Base here in Western Australia has spotted suspicious. Debris in the search zone in the Southern Indian Ocean, suggesting that、uh, perhaps this is some of the debris that、uh, the satellites have been picking up in the last week or so. Two of those pieces are relatively large fragments. There are other unidentified objects that have also been discovered too. Now, of course, the race is on for those coordinates to reach ships in the area for them to actually go. And try to physically retrieve them from the water. Only then will we know if these pieces of debris are linked、uh, directly to the missing Malaysia Airlines flight. Earlier today, two Chinese、uh, planes took off along with a Japanese reconnaissance aircraft. They are joining others from Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. So、uh, the air effort is being boosted. At sea, we have an Australian warship along with merchant vessels too. And in space, of course, all important satellite images. Help Helping this search,、uh, the view from space proving to be extremely useful, and we are getting word too that the Americans are bringing essentially what is an underwater drone to try to find the black box flight recorder. So we're seeing、uh, efforts being made beneath the surface, on the surface, in the sky, and in space. So、uh, this is well and truly a monumental effort involving so many different countries. The Deputy Prime Minister of Australia, Warren Truss, said today that the search area would cover 68,000 square kilometres of some of the world's wildest and most unpredictable seas. There is a, a cyclone to the north of Australia, and there is a fear that that could send bad weather barreling into the search zone. It will make a monumental task even harder.